Hello guys, Christian here. Today I want to show you two products, Chemworks and Autodesk Fusion 360. I will make a part in Fusion and Chemworks, a simple part, 2.5 axis, and give you all the information you need in order for you to decide which is better. In the end, I will tell you, of course, my opinion. So, this is Autodesk Fusion 360. I will open a part. I, the first I want, I want to take a look what, which types of part I can open in Fusion 360. These are the parts. So I have an IGS file prepared. As you, as you can see, this is a simple part, one pocket and some holes. Also, I'll use a face. So. I will select Cam workspace. Okay, for the setup, new setup. Good. So, operation type milling. Okay, I also have a water jet laser turning. Okay, uh, to define the zero program, let's put it on this box point. The stock. Let's leave on the side zero on 5 millimeters post process the name the name of the program okay so let's start new operation to the milling face okay for the tool i will i want to use let's say a 40 millimeter okay it doesn't find me any tool in the database maybe I'm doing something wrong so I will use a, a smaller one 10 millimeters okay this is the stock selection stock contours okay and this is the face okay good so this is a face milling. The second operation I will do a drill operation. Okay, but first of all, let's check the diameter. It's diameter 12. Okay, so I will want to use a drill with 12 millimeter diameter. Okay, delete it. Dimensions 12, 12. Okay, check here. This is the one. Okay. Whole faces, selected points. One, two. Okay, I've made a mistake here. If I want to go back, no, I have to select it again. Maybe I'm doing here something wrong. I don't know, but I want to use the default settings of the software this is idea so i will select it again two three and four okay from bottom high okay so i, I want to define the bottom of the hole right now okay This is not good. I, this is only my the whole bottom. Okay, it's okay now. It's good. When the 2D pocket escape again and 2D pocket the tool uh, just like in face milling uh, okay i just want to have a quick look of the tools i use but let's try this one okay the today pocket and on the inside okay so just click okay 
only one path on the z direction or helix movement okay i want to have the helix entry it's okay but i have want to have multiple depth one millimeter something like this okay so let's simulate of course let's try so the facing drilling yeah right here on the pocket i think i i need to adjust the parameters but okay okay and right now for this setup i will also need uh to the uh, contour just like uh, the same tool just like in roughing up the pocket on the inside okay and only one path in order for the for finishing this pocket simulate again go faster okay and right now it simulates only the last operation maybe you can simulate from the current operation i don't know how to do it so i will select again the setup one move the speed and the facing drilling let's rough roughing operation and the finishing operation i want to have a comparison between the machine and the 3d model i don't know how to do this and now i just close it it's okay let's hope it's okay just hit post process some generic post processor let's hit post the same program save it yes and this is the program okay so far so good this is the program okay this was the part made in fusion 360 okay let's do the same in camors camor 17 the part okay why i use the 10 millimeter tool for this pocket of course this is a radius 5 filet and here it's a 12 millimeters okay so the first method i will use for this part uh, automatic feature recognition of the 2.5 axis features for this tool i have this perimeter recognized I, I do not want to use it okay a facing a whole group as you can see the start and the end of the features is recognized automatically in a rectangular pocket with this default strategy defined in technology database i will change it to rough finish generate an operation plan uh, generate a toolpath simulate show the difference between the machine and the 3d model and post process the the whole program this is a program so this is the faster way okay i do not have i i do not have this in fusion 360 okay this is not an issue i will i will use the same in uh, the same procedure in camera so the first machine type of the machine tool and post processor the stock manager okay this is the step i forgot to do it in the in when i recognize when i extract automatically the machinable features for the i forgot to to mention for camogs that I have an allowance of five millimeters on this on the top side of the of the stock. Okay, I will do it around the setup, the zero program. Okay. 
okay 2.5 axis so let's start face from here to the stock pocket from here to here okay and the holes from here okay I do something wrong here I have all the selection here I can go back okay and select again very easily from here to the bottom of the hole and condition here okay for the face feature face milling okay I have access to the tools database face mill okay diameter 40 but I will use the same like infusion okay 10 millimeter generate automatically I have some de parameters defined in in a technology database for this whole group I will add a 12 millimeter drill generated okay for this hole I will want to use also the tip length you can see it here and for the rectangular pocket I will use of course a rough mill with the same tool like in facing I will have access here in the tool crib it's here and generate I will I do not to have to go back again in a rough mill to set the the depth of the pocket it's okay it's generated okay if I want to change the cut in the cut amount okay I can go back and modify the cut amount and one millimeter okay and at last the contour mill with the same tool okay generate so simulate comparison everything is okay post process A program for a generic Fanuc machine. So, this is a simple part made in Fusion and in Camus. You will decide which is the best solution for you. In my opinion, Camus is, is the best. Be because you have the ability to automatically recognize 2.5 axis features for these features you will have a technology generated just like you want it and practically in some simple steps few clicks you will have a CNC program please when you judge these two products do not take uh, the uh, in account the fact that I'm moving a little bit slow in fusion I just install it and I of course I will move uh, quickly in cameras just look on how I generate a CNC program in both products and then make a decision if you have more questions about cameras feel free to contact me and I will answer gladly until the next video bye